Hi, I'm Sylvia, and today I'm here with M Mr. Dan. Yes, hi, I'm Mr. Dan from the Art of One Dojo YouTube channel, and basically what we do is we do all sorts of martial arts topics. We cover art history, cultural aspects, training tips, all sorts of martial arts topics, and we just recently celebrated one year anniversary on YouTube, and we're here visiting with uh, Sylvia today because she made a special treat to commemorate it. That's right, and today I'm going to show you how I made this really cool Kempo logo cake. It's based on the Kempo Karate logo because that's this art, and I'm going to show you how I did that. All right, so the first thing is get your cake ready. I have, um, I made two 11 inch rounds and I put them together. If you're interested in learning how to put them together, there's a video on that. Here are some pictures as to the process of how I did this. Then I printed out my logo. This is what I want my cake to look like. So I went ahead and I printed one, the size that I want my actual cake to be, which took two pages. So then um, this is the size I want it to be. And here's, what I cut out. All right, so I have, I have a board where this will fit perfectly. It's already covered in fondant to match with the yellow of the, of the tiger. And uh, that's it. The first step is I'm going to use this cutout and I'm gonna put it over the cake and I'm gonna start carving the cake to make it look like the logo, like the crest. Okay, so now while the cake is chilling, I'm going to work on figurines. So I have a dragon and a tiger. I have my gum paste colored in this um, very golden yellow. I'm gonna start with some floral wire. I think this is a 16 gauche, something nice and thick so that it holds its weight. I'm gonna use some Rice Krispie treats to, to create the base of the tiger and, um, oh, and, the, and the wire. So I'm gonna use some floral tape to kind of tape this around and make it work. And then I'll start sculpting. So here we go.
All right, so I have the tiger sculpted out. I'm gonna wait a little bit to paint it. I'm gonna go with a black edible paint and paint the stripes and the eyes and red in the mouth. And for now, I'm going to work in with the dragon. Now I'm going to paint the details on these guys. And um, with a tiger, all I need is some black, the black stripes and some black details. And then afterwards, I'm going to use some red to paint the tongue because I decided to make his mouth open. So um, right now I just, um, I have a picture here of a tiger and I just realized that the tiger has um, quite some cheeks that are furry. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Okay, so for the dragon, I'm gonna paint some details in yellow. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of white. And I'm also going to use my uh, Petal Dust palette to paint some shadows and stuff so, to make these guys look more realistic. Okay, so right now I'm going to work. I'm go this, is the, this is the logo that I'm uh, basing my design off, but um, I'm, I have different plans for the middle, so I'm gonna work on that.
Okay, so now it is time to flip my cake over, put it on the pretty board, flip it back over and add the black decorations, the logo that I made, and finally the cute characters. Okay, so now I, um, I actually took a little bit of vodka and I glued each letter to my logo and I rolled out a little piece of black fondant. I'm gonna roll it out really thin and I'm gonna glue it up underneath the logo and then trace it so that way the logo has a black outline. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and place it on top of my cake, make a few other details and then we're ready to put the toppers. Okay guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope um, you guys give this cake a try. And thank you to Mr. Dan for being here today. You guys should check out his channel. It's really cool. It's the Art of One Dojo. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more videos.